recent study published in the Quarterly Journal of Economics provides new support for the idea that welfare programs exacerbate rather than inhibit intergenerational poverty. Past research on this topic has been hampered by the difficulties inherent in correlational research. It's been known for a long time that children of parents who use welfare are more likely than average to use welfare themselves. But that could be because those children inherit the problems that lead to the parents needing welfare in the first place. Findings like this don't show that being on welfare actually causes intergenerational poverty. This new study attempted to surpass these difficulties by taking advantage of a natural experiment. In Norway, whether or not someone gets to receive certain kinds of welfare depends largely on which judge is randomly assigned to review their case. Some judges give out welfare more readily than others. And so who does and does not receive welfare is partly a matter of luck. This allowed researchers to compare life outcomes for families who, before applying to welfare, were extremely similar. Uh, to be specific, the researchers controlled for differences in income, labor experience, age, health, family structure, and other variables. The hope behind these controls is that the only important difference between the families is that by luck of the draw, some were able to receive welfare while others were not. The researchers managed to find data on 14,722 families to make these comparisons with. They found that the adult children of families put on welfare were up to 12% more likely to apply for welfare themselves when compared to children of families who were not put on welfare. Since these families were more or less identical, except for the fact that some got welfare and others didn't. This research suggests that parents going on welfare causes their children to be more likely to need welfare in the future. This suggests that there is some substance to the view that welfare creates a culture of dependency. However, the effect is much smaller than some conservatives might have guessed. Regardless, most people feel that we have an obligation to help those in need. Studies like this won't change that. What they will hopefully do is convince us to try to implement welfare policies that minimize intergenerational poverty as much as possible. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see a new video about a new study six days a week, consider subscribing to Daily Data. And if you want to help our videos do better in YouTube's search engine, consider leaving a comment.